And now, as you can see, I'm on my very own server I just created for free. Now this server will work on Java and Bedrock. Hello everyone, and welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a free Minecraft server in 2024. So make sure to watch the entire video so you don't miss anything. And come join me on my Minecraft server, play.benderplay.com. We have a new kit PVP and a really cool mining system. All right, let's get right into the video. All right, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is go to the first link in the description, which will be app.minehut.com. Now, once you're here, you should see a page like this. You're gonna wanna click create my server. Now you're just gonna create your account and click sign up. Now you're just gonna confirm your email. So just check your email and see if you got an email from Minehut and just confirm your email address. Once you do that, you can click continue. Now you should be on a page like this. You're gonna wanna just click create server right here. Now is when you enter your server name. Now this name will be the name of your server. And also when you go to join your server, it'll be part of your server IP address. Now I'm just gonna name mine Mindbender9, but you can name yours whatever you want. Once you enter your server name, just click create. Now you should see your new server listed here. Um, just click activate on the right here to activate your new server. Now it usually takes like 30 seconds to start up your server. So just wait a few seconds and your server will be up and running. All right, once you wait a few seconds, you should see your server here. As you can see, um, the server is online and running. You can click stop here to stop it or restart when you wanna restart it. And if you just click up here, this little copy button, it'll copy your IP. So how you can join your server, the IP will be right up here. It'll be whatever name you put in. So mine is mindbender9 and then .minehut.gg. And for bedrock, you can see it's mindbender9.bedrock.minehut.gg. So this server will work on Java and Bedrock um, on the latest version of Minecraft. At this time, it's 1.20.4. But if you click here, you can actually edit it and change it to whatever kind of server version you want, uh, whatever jar file. So yeah. Now let's just scroll down a little bit here. Over here, you can create your message of the day. So if I just say test for a video, and I click save changes. When we go to the Minecraft server list, um, you can view that here. So if I click save changes now, this will be the message of the day on the Minecraft server list. You can actually click here to design your message of the day and add colors and stuff, which is pretty cool. Now here you can enter the category of your server. So I'm just gonna do SMP and click visible and just save changes. So here are your game settings. You can enter your max player count. Um, if you wanna enable PVP, just all these different settings, feel free to customize it however you want. You can look at advanced settings. If you wanna allow flight, um, spawn protection, all that. Um, if we keep scrolling down, um, you are able to upload your own world if you want, or it can just create its own world. Um, and you can change the difficulty, game mode, all that stuff. Now the free Minehut plan comes with one gigabyte of RAM, which is good if you're just starting out for free. Um, but you are able to upgrade if you want to, to more RAM, just for some credits. And if we keep scrolling down, you can add your own domain or upload your own resource pack. Once you have the IP address of your server copied, you can actually go to Minecraft. Now, once you're on Minecraft, you can go to multiplayer and click direct connection. Now you can paste in that server address you just copied. It should be the name that you named your server and then .minehut.gg. Once you enter that, you can just click join server. And now, as you can see, I'm on my very own server I just created for free. Now this server will work on Java and Bedrock. Now let's say you wanna do some commands like slash game mode creative. You'll see you don't have permission to do that command. So what you're gonna wanna do is go back to your panel here and where there's a bunch of options up here, you wanna click on console. Now, once you click console, you should see down here, this is actually the console of your server. So you'll see the server logs, you know, see how Mindbender9 joined the game um, and I did slash game mode creative and it didn't work. So where you see enter command, you're gonna wanna type OP and then your Minecraft username. So mine is Mindbender9 underscore YT. So I'm gonna type that. And then once you type that, just click enter. And now if we go back to the game, now you'll see it says made Mindbender9 a server operator. So now if I do slash game mode creative, boom, I'm in creative mode. And now you have access to all the different commands on the server, like slash ban or slash kick. And yeah. Now if you're in the Minehot lobby, you can actually join your server by doing slash join and then the name of your server. So my main server is benderplay. So I'm gonna do slash join benderplay and it'll actually take you to your Minecraft server. But yeah, if I type slash join Mindbender9, my new server, as you can see, here I am. 
Now, if you guys want more videos on how to make your server better and add some add-ons and plugins and all that, um, definitely leave a comment to let me know. All right, guys, before you go, make sure to join me on my new Minecraft server, Bender Play. We have a unique kit PvP game mode with custom kits that you can unlock by leveling up and a really cool mining system where you can collect resources to upgrade your tools in the shop and have a chance at unlocking the next mine. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.